Hello guys, in this video, I am going to not only introduce you to this new assistance API from OpenAI, but I am also going to show you how you can create a full blown chat assistant using your own documents, no matter of which type. So let's get started. First, let me give you a very brief overview as what exactly this assistance API is. In order to use assistant APIs, all you need to do is to remember these three concepts. Assistant, which is the assistant you are going to build. It could be anything. For example, if you are building an assistant on your medical data, you can call it your medical assistant or legal data, your legal assistant. It could be anything. For example, in this example, they are calling it personal finance bot. Second concept is the concept of thread. Thread primarily enables you to maintain the chat history and that's about it. And then in order to run this thread, for your model, we call it a run or thread run or assistant run. So this is, there is all to it. And once you have it, then your assistant will be shown in your OpenAI's platform. Now, let me quickly show you the code which we will be using to create an Oracle DBA assistant in order to answer the questions from Oracle documentation. The documentation which I'm going to use is this from Oracle's website and this is just a two, DB, two day DBA 11G release which was released around I guess 14 years ago or 13 years ago. So I'll be using this PDF file from Oracle's website and I will feed it into my OpenAI model which and I'm going to use ChatGPT4 for it. You can use ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo or whatever model you, can, or you want from OpenAI's. Now, for these assistants, my preference will be to use ChatGPT4. Okay, so that's out of the way. Let me show you the code now where I'm going to use this. This is my VS code. And let me first walk you through the code as what is happening here. Now, before you start running this course, um, this code, there are a few prerequisites. First and foremost, make sure you have an account on OpenAI and you would need a paid account. Grab your OpenAI key from there and set it in your environment, either like this or maybe just export the variable, whatever suits you. And then let me show you a few of the functions which we have defined. I'll start from the create assistant one. This is a code chunk which is creating the assistant for us. So all we are doing it, we are calling this assistant API from OpenAI and this is still in uh, beta, so just bear with me. And then we are just giving it a name. This could be your own name. And then this is a prompt instruction. I'm telling it that you're an Oracle DBA chatbot. Use your knowledge base uh, to best respond to the queries. And then the model, as I said, I'm using is GPT-4, which is still in preview. And this is the interesting part. So I'm using two tools with it, code interpreter and retrieval. Code interpreter is a tool with ChatGPT, which you can use to do the data analysis on your own custom data. So I'll be using PDF file from Oracle documentation, which I showed you. So I'm using code interpreter for that. Name is a bit misleading, but its main focus is on code interpretation, but we can also use it for data analysis on different data structures. Retrieval is a tool which, which is used to retrieve your own data. And that is why I have put it in. And then file ID is the file, which I'll be showing you shortly. This is a file we are going to use in our code. Then I'm just writing uh, a display function from IPython library just to display the JSON properly. And then this is a function submit dot message, which is submitting our message, which we will be putting in through Gradio because I will also be creating a small user interface through Gradio, which I will show you shortly. So all this code or this message is doing, it is using that assistant ID, which we will create shortly and then send the user message. And this is going to create our thread and assistant ID. And then this is a function to return the response. And this is where we are creating our thread with the help of create function. Simple, uh, we are passing it assistant ID and thread. And then pretty print is just a message which I am printing. You can simply type print if you like, but this is just to get the uh, assistant role, just assistant message instead of the whole chunk which it produces. Now, 
before it describes this call agent let me show you what exactly is happening so this is where i am giving it my file right now i have hard coded the documentation file you can even pass it as an argument and this is where i am getting the open ai's client and if you go down this is where i have already created the instance and put it in the instant uh, assistant id to save the cost but if you comment this line and just uh, use this function this is a function where we where we were creating the assistant i have already done it and put my assistant id there just to make things easier and to save the cost now this is the gradio box where the magic is happening all i'm doing it i am just giving it a title a oracle dba and then i'm asking it what you want to know and then just uh, the output will be displayed here and then a button where you could just title it anything and this is where i'm calling the agent now if i go above this is a function which i was talking about this is a call agent function so all i'm doing it i'm again calling this create thread and run with our user question which you will uh, put it in the text box and then i'm just waiting for it to finish and then printing the response let me again show you this create thread and run function if you go up a little this is a function which is calling our assistant id our thread with the input we have put it in the gradio text box once that's done it is going to come down and output um, it here in this box with the help of gradio and we are just launching it here so this is what this code is doing and don't worry i'll be putting this code in my uh, blog vadmanza.com you can check it out there now as i said earlier you would need few things for example you would need pip install open ai and ipython and gradio in order to run this i already have installed them so if you haven't got them please make sure to install these three things okay that's done and now let me run it in my terminal and then show you and before i take you to my terminal let me quickly go to platform.openai.com uh, and show you this is my ai oracle db assistant which i already have created through that create function you can even create it here manually and all you need to do is to grab this id and if i go here click on these three dots and then click on test in playground this is where it is going to take me and when you go to the playground you can see this is our ai oracle dpa this is the prompt which we gave it the model which we are using and you can see that the tools which we have enabled is code interpreter and retrieval we haven't been using our custom function which is another powerful feature and then at the bottom this is a pdf file of oracle documentation which i have uploaded okay so that's it here now let me take you to my terminal and show you how to run this thing now once you run it it is going to create a gradio link which will be um, valid for 72 hours and it will be running on your local system to at 7860 port up to you but we will be using the gradio one so let me grab this i'll just copy all to clipboard so let me go to this gradio link which is a public url as you can see on your screen and this is my uh, AI Oracle DBA which is running. Let me ask it few questions. Uh, as per Oracle DBA, I'll just ask it what DBCA stands for and then click on give me the answer. Let's wait and you can see on the right hand side the time it is taking as the answer is spot on. It does stand for this which is amazing and then maybe let's ask it one more question. What is LGWR? And then click here it's a log writer from oracle let's wait for it to come back shouldn't take too long and the larger your data set the more time it will take and the good thing about this is that all the chunking all the vectorization embedding is done by openai you don't have to worry about it there you go so LG, LGWR stands for log writer and then it has given us some really good information about this background process of Oracle. So you can see that with just one document and just one um, page of code, I would say a few maybe under 80 lines of code, I was able 
to create this on my own document so you can do the same all you need to do is to replace your own document and then by using the same code you can create your own assistant and then play around with it so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you are still stuck or wondering as how to do it please ask them in the comment and i'll be happy to help out i'll be creating more videos on these assistants and also these runs and maybe the custom functions later down the road very soon so stay tuned and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much